Hi there and welcome to our monthly market update. I'm James from Binance Australia and today we're going to be talking about what happened in the cryptocurrency world during April 2023. First, let's check out what's been going on in Australia. Australia's crypto ATM market has surpassed Asia's total number of crypto ATMs with 370 locations currently in operation. The country's rise to prominence can be attributed to its consistent installation of new machines over the last eight months. Globally, the United States leads the crypto ATM market with 29,000 locations, followed by Canada with 2,725 locations. Australia's growing crypto ATM market outperforms Asia, which includes major economies like Japan, Singapore, and India. Challenges faced by Asia include stringent regulatory environments and limited adoption of cryptocurrencies. Australia's evolving regulatory landscape and widespread adoption of cryptocurrencies positions it as a significant player in the global crypto ATM market, surpassing Asia and many European nations. The Commonwealth Bank of Australia, CBA, reports that Australians continued to invest in cryptocurrencies during the 2022 bear market, dubbed the crypto winter, reinforcing the need for regulation in the sector. CBA Managing Director, Blockchain and Digital Assets, Sophie Gilder, explained that customer interest in cryptocurrencies persisted despite market volatility. This ongoing interest makes a strong case for regulation, which could provide greater consumer protections and clarity for businesses looking to invest and innovate. Gilda supported a technology-neutral approach to regulating digital assets, suggesting that modifications to the Corporations Act would be a most efficient way to regulate crypto assets. The Australian Bank Association also supports the same regulation for financial and payment services, regardless of the underlying technology. Australia and New Zealand Banking Group, ANZ, partnered with Grolo Carbon Ventures, GCV, to trade carbon credits as part of a pilot project conducted by the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, and the Digital Finance Cooperative Research Centre. ANZ tokenized Australian carbon credit units, ACCUs, and is used is Australian dollar-backed A$DC stablecoin to trade carbon credits on a public permissionless blockchain. Settlement occurred in a near real time via ANZ smart contracts and the Australian CBDC backed the A$DC stablecoin. This pilot is the first of three Australian CBDC use cases in which ANZ will participate. The bank will also be involved in use cases for offline payments and pension fund payments, as well as distributing the CBDC. Now let's shift our focus to global crypto news. Ethereum core developers met to discuss and plan code adjustments for blockchain's consensus layer in anticipation of the next upgrade after Chappella, known as Cancun Deneb. Having recently activated the Chappella upgrade, which introduced validator withdrawals, developers are now making headway on the subsequent upgrade, Cancun Deneb. The upgrade aims to make Ethereum more affordable for users by implementing changes across Ethereum's two primary mainnet layers. The execution layer for smart contract execution and the consensus layer for blockchain consensuses via staking. The execution layer upgrade will be called Cancun, while the consensus layer upgrade will be named Deneb, resulting in the combined name Cancun Deneb for the entire upgrade. Ethereum improvement proposal EIP4844 or Proto Dank Sharding is anticipated to be the most significant change to the Cancun Deneb upgrade. EIP4844 aims to improve Ethereum's scalability beyond the current capabilities of Layer 2 solutions by enabling temporary storage and retrieval of off-chain data by Ethereum nodes. If successfully implemented, EIP4844 is expected to reduce transaction costs on Layer 2 roll-up solutions like Optimism and Arbitrum. Solana has introduced a dashboard to track carbon emissions in an effort to combat the narrative of high carbon emissions associated with the crypto industry. The Solana Foundation announced an integration that measures the blockchain's carbon emissions in real time. The tracker will monitor the network's energy consumption, carbon footprint, and network power intensity, among other metrics. Real-time data will be collected from software installed on Solana validator nodes and made available to everyone. A dashboard has been launched to publish emissions data every two weeks, allowing regular users to access the information. Users of the popular messaging app Telegram 
can now purchase, withdraw, and exchange Bitcoin through the Wallet Bot and its associated services. The Wallet Bot and similar services are created by third party developers using Telegram's OpenBot API, meaning that anyone can develop their own crypto related bot without direct involvement from Telegram. Stablecoin issuer Tether minted 1 billion USDT tokens on the Ethereum network, indicating anticipated demand for crypto exposure. USDT is the most popular stablecoin in the crypto industry, pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the United States dollar, and is often used for trading on exchanges that don't accept fiat currencies. Tether's dominance in the stablecoin market continues to grow with over 35 billion USDT tokens on Ethereum, while its closest competitor, Circle's USDC, accounts for less than 30 billion tokens. Across multiple blockchains, USDT comprises over $81.5 billion pegged tokens, further intensifying Tether's market dominance with no other stablecoin coming close. Some believe that the supply of USDT historically indicates the direction of the crypto market, with higher demand for USDT typically signaling new cash entering the system, which is often used to buy Bitcoin, Ether, and other cryptocurrencies. Google Cloud is launching benefits for Web3 startups to apply for its Startups Cloud program, including grants from foundation partners, Aptos, Celo, Solana Foundation, HBAR Foundation, and NIR. Startups will have access to the Alchemy University and 10,000 in Alchemy credits, along with access to Polygon Ventures Ecosystem Fund, offering around 3 million in investments. The program features two tiers, the starting tier for pre-seed projects and startups founded within the last five years, and a scale tier for seed to series A startups that have been founded within the last 10 years. Google Cloud continues its foray into Web3 after launching the blockchain node engine last fall, which builds and deploys blockchain-based applications and platforms, initially supporting Ethereum and later including Solana. Alphabet, Google's parent company, has been a significant investor in blockchain technology throughout 2021 and 2022, with its investment vehicles making 990 investments. Now let's take a look into the metaverse of NFTs, gaming, and music. Canadian electro-pop artist Grimes announced on Twitter that she will split 50% of royalties with anyone who uses her voice in a successful AI-generated song. Grimes stated that the royalty split is the same deal she would have with any artist that she collaborates with, and granted creators permission to use her voice, without penalty. She mentioned that she has no label and no legal bindings. The artist is currently developing a program that should simulate my voice well, and is considering uploading stems and samples from people to train their own. Grimes expressed her support for the idea of open sourcing all art and killing copyright. Grimes, also known as Claire Vulture, has a history of embracing emerging technologies such as AI and blockchain. During a relationship with Elon Musk, Grimes released a collection of original art as NFTs, earning six million at the time. Renowned rapper Snoop Dogg collaborates with VFriends, a unique NFT collection by prominent social media figure, crypto investor, Gary Vaynerchuk, to release an innovative NFT collection including a tokenized track titled, Please Take a Step Back. The diverse Fee Friends NFT collection offers various NFT types, such as character tokens, access tokens, and gift goats, each with unique perks like event access, mentorship from Vaynerchuk, and more. The Burn Island announcement to V Friends aims to broaden the project's scope and strengthen the intellectual property of the digital tokens. V Friends NFT holders are the primary contenders in Burn Island eruptions. For phase one of the Snoop Dogg collaboration, Burn Island is calling on all VCon 2022 ticket holders to participate in a unique event by burning one VCon 2022 ticket NFT in exchange for a mint from the Please Take a Step Back collection. Phase two allows Please Take a Step Back NFT holders to enter two Burned Island eruptions honoring Snoop's NFT collection, Board Ape Yacht Club, and his renowned Board Ape, Dr. Bombay. To participate in these contests, entrants must permanently burn NFTs from the Please Take a Step Back collection. In phase three, 10 lucky individuals will enjoy a once in a lifetime experience, attending the high school reunion concert featuring Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa with Gary Vee in Atlanta on August 9th, 2023. Donald Trump's second NFT collection sold out within hours of its release, bringing in 4.6 million for the former US president. The Trump-themed Series 2 of the Trump Digital Trading Cards launched on April 18th, four months after the first collection debuted in December 2022. The NFTs were priced at $99 each 
and were minted on the Polygon blockchain. All 47,000 tokens sold out within six hours. Interestingly, the launch of the new collection led to a 44% decline in the floor price of the first NFT collection. Trump returned to Instagram to promote the launch, which was first shared on his own social media platform, Truth Social. The collection included 47,000 NFTs, possibly hinting at Trump's return as the 47th president of the United States. Users who bought 47 NFTs were winner dinner with Trump at his Mar-a-Lago residence in Florida. Tiny Tap, a subsidiary of Animoca Brands and a leading edtech platform for user-generated educational games, has raised $8.5 million from investors such as Sukona China, Liberty City Ventures, Kingsway Capital, Shimmer Capital, Polygon, Game5 Ventures and more. The funding will support Tiny Tap's business expansion and accelerate its growth in the edtech space, transforming its successful Web2 platform, serving over 9.2 million registered members into an alternative Web3 education system that values teachers by improving earning opportunities available to the teachers. In 2022, TinyTap introduced publisher NFTs, empowering, rewarding, and incentivizing educational content creators and publishers. The company has held two successful auctions of publisher NFTs, generating 243 ETH, which is approximately 352,000 at the time of the auction. Publisher NFTs represent co-publishing rights to a TinyTap course and provide benefits to educational content creators, NFT buyers, and TinyTap. This model enables creators to focus on content generation, while TinyTap and NFT buyers distribute and promote the content. TinyTap's innovative approach to education with Web3 has garnered support from the community, with the potential to benefit educators, students, and the edtech industry as a whole. That wraps up this month's market update where we discuss some interesting changes in the world of cryptocurrencies and the metaverse. As always, it's important to stay informed and careful, especially when it comes to your investments. Keep in mind that the cryptocurrency market can be quite unpredictable, so doing your own research is crucial. We hope you found this update useful and informative. If you did, please support us by giving a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more news, analysis and insights on the latest trends in crypto and beyond. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month.